Hi teacher, my name is Ana Laura Garcia Flores and this is my movie review. I'm gonna talk about Mean Girls. This is one of my favorite movies, so I gonna start. Well, this movie is directed by Mark Waters and distributed by Paramount Pictures. The cast is Lizzie Lohan as Kelly Heron and Tina Fey as Miss Norbury, Rachel My Adams as Regina George, uh, Lizzie Clapton as Janice, and Lizzie Cherfes as Scratch. Well, this movie is after spending most of her life being homeschooled in Africa by a zoologic parents. Katie Heron moves to islands and enters to the red jungle. This is a public high school and she connects with a social outcast. It's Janice, a ghost townin and Damien, a hefty homosexual and gets a Zoom like tour uh, of the clients to a boy. Uh, Jay among them is a group, Janice, and class, uh, they call her the plastic. They are Georges and Wesley, some sneakers led by, led by a molecular Barbie doll. Uh, she is named Georgina George, uh, both admiring and loaded by the student's body and uh, the Caddy trio quickly takes an interest in Katie and who tries hard to think the best of them. Well, Regina promotes Jenny's rig, rig uh, however, when Katie is in Terrace on Aaron. Uh, Aaron is uh, the Regina's ex-boyfriend. And um, well, this is parents cover an antagonist uh, of adolescent proportions uh, made aware that Regina is fighting friendship will stealing housling hair. And then Katie's dead stays close to the <clears throat> plastics in a order to give Regina a dose of her um, medicine. Uh, in the group, well, one of the things she says is in the girl war, all the fighting has to be sneak. Well, the trouble is the, is the more Katie plays acts like a plastic and the more she becomes a one. Uh, she talk like her, act like her, uh, so he bec she becomes a one. Uh, she soon learned that one's character is war in progress and that casual remarks made in private can have a far reaching concave. Well, <clears throat> to finish, one of the positive elements is there is a social conscience at war here, and the film is so afraid to moralize, so teens who tune in for the cruel jokes and snarky sexual stuff, many turns their nose up at the final, is too preachy and sentimental. Uh, but it is nice to see show it both of remaining tied on a otherwise mixed a bag. One more positive element is Ka Katie sets out to teach Regina a lesson, but later a bubble one himself. Uh, it's possible to put someone else down in the afternoon to take your step look or a feel super and she says calling someone fat doesn't make you any skinner calling someone stupid doesn't make you any smarter all you can do is in the life is try to solve the problem in front of you 
So my conclusion is Mean Girls has a force in me to worry if Ten culture has the claim to the point that it's now impossible to create a fighting rebel commentary on on it without resorting to obsessional themes. But in the personal, I love it a lot. It's so funny, it's so dramatic, and this is one of my favorite movies. And well, that's all for my part. Thanks to listen me, teacher.